Are you ready for the math section of the ECT? Try out this problem and see how ready you really are. Let f of x equal 2x squared plus 13x minus 1 and g of x equal 4x plus 6. The graphs of f, and f of x and g of x intersect at which of the following points? A, B, C, D. Go ahead, hit pause, try it out, see what you do on your own. And when you're ready to check out the answer and the solution, go ahead and hit play. And the correct answer is B. Hope you got it right. Now, how do you get it? Well, one of the easiest ways to get this problem correct is to use Desmos, the built-in calculator on the ACT exam. All you got to do is enter in f of x exactly as you see it, enter in g of x exactly as you see it, and you will see two graphs that intersect twice. And only one of those intersection points is listed here, and that's 1 half comma 8. So using Desmos can really get you the answer pretty quickly if you know how to use it. But I want to show you to get this answer using nothing more than paper and pencil because, come on, we should be good at algebra. All right, let's check that out now. Now, when you try to figure out where two functions intersect, well, what does that mean? It means the two functions must be equal. So I take the two functions, f of x, and set it equal to g of x and solve. Now, this is a quadratic, so I gotta get everything on one side with the zero on the other side in order to solve it correctly. So I'm gonna subtract the 4x over, making a 9x. Subtract the 6 over, making a negative 5, and I get that 0 on my side. Now I can use the quadratic formula to find my two solutions for x, or I could go ahead and factor. Now this one's not too bad to factor, so I'm going to go and do it for you. I'm going to split apart the 2x squared with a 2x and an x. I'm going to split apart the 5 with a 1 and a 5. Now there's my 2x squared. That's going to generate a 10x, so I need that to be positive, and I need, whoop, <laughs> lost my marker there. I need that to be a negative 1, that way you get a 10x and a negative x, making the positive 9x in the middle, and at the end you still get the negative 5 when you multiply. This means I have two solutions for x. x equals 1 half, add the 1 divided by 2, and x equals negative 5. Now I do see both of those solutions among my choices, but now I gotta check that y coordinate. Now you can plug the x's back into either f or g, a lot easier to use g. So I'm gonna use g, and I'm gonna plug 1 half in, so I get 4 times 1 half plus 6, 4 times 1 half is 2, 2 plus 6 is 8, so there's the correct answer, 1 half comma 8. If I plug negative 5 in to get the other answer, I'm going to take 4 times negative 5 plus 6, that's negative 20 plus 6, which is negative 14. And if you go back and look at the choices, there were a couple distractors there where we see 5, positive 5, negative 14, positive 14, but we don't see the exact combination of negative 5 comma negative 14. So the only answer that's listed is 1 half comma 8. Hope you got that one right. 